making this a actual side hustle because that's still something in my head that I'm trying to like make a clear distinction is like what part of this is hobby just meaning that like I'm going and doing this for personal satisfaction status satis oh boy it's late <laughs> I can't, Am I doing this I can't for help myself? you either brother because I've been up since five and <laughs> or What's up guys? Welcome. My name is Nate Hibbert. I started this to track my progress. So if you're into learning FPV drones, learning about them, this show is for you. Am I doing this for myself or am I doing this uh, for the future of what I'm hoping is going to be a side hustle and possibly a full business? Um, I don't know if you have any thoughts on that. We can just kind of rift on that. Do. I think really what you should be doing is like, what are the base skills that you'll need. I think this is what I do in like most business ventures is like what what I, we were just talking about before this is what skills do I need to really be a producer for a podcast? I think just helping you is this first step, but it's like, I don't even know what skills I need to be able to be a producer. Mm -hmm. So just learning the jobs that are out there. I think irregardless of what job you have, basic flying skills is what you should have. I think you should have a checklist and like an arbitrary meter of just like, here's where I'm at with landing. I was at zero and I landed on a table. Now I'm at two out of 10. Like, I think you should have a list of skills that you need to improve. And this is another thing you could go and ask other people of like, hey, if I'm gonna get a job in this industry, what skills do I need? Because they might say like, flying is 10%. What you really need to do is be an editor. Be a, like, <laughs> It might just like completely flip what you're trying to do on its head. Or it might be like, hey, flying is 90% of this job. Like if you can't fly and get exact precision, you need to be able to do maneuvers. Right, <laughs> I don't, right. Like I think the tricks too is another thing where it's like, okay, you're okay with taking off. You're okay with like finding the range. That could be another skill. Like what is the range? Understanding the UI, understanding the heads up display. What are the skills that you need? Like you need to be able to turn is learning how to turn and control. Like is tricks give you that skill improvement or is skills like a nonsensical thing that you'll never use. And it's just fun playing time so that you can maybe get incrementally better at certain other core skills. Maybe that's a question that you should ask. It's like, what are the core skills, flying skills? Yeah, no, you're kind of leading me into the next, uh, I'm going to call it a series, but just the next like, chapter of my flying if you will with like the tricks i can pull up that list there was something else i wanted to say about that oh but i think taking sorry, hold on one second. to take the like you're saying like landing and then giving that a score out of 10 i don't think that's a great way of doing it necessarily but looking at it then more than just a check mark like can i land like there's got to be some levels to landing there's got to be some way to track that i'm getting better at you know being able to precisely land somewhere or a shoot where i'm gonna to have to land somewhere before i take off because i'm taking off on top of a building yeah and can you land in windy conditions can you land in extreme conditions can yeah you land in so some way to calculate like... all of that uh would be an interesting thing to kind of add because i'll show the the list that i have it's extremely basic it's just from watching people fly on YouTube and seeing like lists that other people have done. And like, these are ways that I'm going to challenge myself or these are tricks that I want to learn, adding a few things for myself. But this is the, the list that I have that, like I said, is extremely basic, but this is my goal for trying to do it with the, the Acrobi. And I think that will give me a good idea of like, where does the capabilities of this thing fall short? So I think all the basics I can do, um, you know, flying low to the ground, doing the roll, doing a flip, doing a yaw spin, doing a barrel roll, doing a loop. Um, I know I can do all those things with this drone, but to what capacity? Um, and I think it will teach me like good basics. If I can do it with this drone, I feel like I'll be able to move to a larger drone. Um, and at least understand what's going wrong when I fail on that drone. Yeah, I think definitely over a check mark, there should be some type of level. Yeah, for indicator. sure. Because even when we were flying the drone out, you were following me and you were like, I checked that box, follow. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay, technically, yes, you, you followed. But I would not consider that like a skill gained or right. an uh, Xbox achievement unlocked. It'd be like, you did the thing, but you definitely didn't do it to achieve any kind of unlock reward. Like you, you 
split second were behind me, but right. that's not considered following. So like, even that as a skill is following a skill that you need. Is it a basic skill? Is it a more advanced skill? I think just getting all of this together and going to other drone people and just running this list past them is going to, again, help you out tremendously. And anybody that's trying to follow you to like, I want to be a drone pilot, have a drone job. What do I need? Because I think this is so new. Somebody like you that's going to kind of forge the path of going like, hey, there are other people that have drone jobs. I don't necessarily know what they are, but I think if I can at least put something together of like, these are the skills needed, then we can help a lot more people. The same thing, like before you were doing anything with graphic design, the Adobe software was out there, but nobody really knew what to do or what jobs are even possible to do with that thing. It was just brand new in the space. But then over time now, there are college classes that teach Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, like there's even large courses about the Premiere and there's so many different aspects of it where there's hundreds and thousands of jobs that you could do in that with editing, with graphic design, like there's all different aspects of it. I think drone is very new. And this is why I say like, irregardless of whatever the job is, I think there's a base level of skill that you need. Is there a 101 course, then a 201 or a 202? Is there something that you can be a little bit more advanced? I have zero idea. <laughs> All I can do is point you to like, at some point, somebody's going to ask you to do something that's going to require a certain amount of skill. And I think flying, because it's a drone, is a major percentage of what the skill that you need. But as far as that skill and what's involved in that, you got to ask somebody else. because <laughs> <laughs> I barely know what you're doing. So I really can't suggest anything other than like, can you take off and can you land? That's why I was like, can you do um, the like going there and back and landing. And we were like, oh, landing is like a lot more advanced than whatever else we thought. Yeah. I just thought that was the most basic thing. It was just like, oh, okay, we need to put this in a little bit more Maybe that's the strategic list. order. Landing. <laughs> landing. <laughs> Even you, I was super impressed to see that thing. I was like, fuck yeah. Like, <laughs> cause I know how difficult that is. But looking at it on the camera, it's like, oh, you, yeah, you kind of turned and right. Bumped. But it was like before of what it was of just like, you just had to cut it off where you're five feet up yeah. to hope land somewhere close to you versus like you actually did put it down well most of the time i wasn't even flying long enough to want to land it was just like <laughs> ah, i crash again that's why i'm so happy that you came up here though because it is a different appreciation i think with anything like when you have hands-on experience you get it a little bit more and just watching the video you're like yeah this kid sucks but <laughs> doing it for yourself you're like oh, okay like i could see how it would take a while to get good at this so i think that's why your core audience is people that are just getting into this space have little to no idea. Cause you have, <laughs> as much as we joke of like, we don't have any idea what we're doing. We are rapidly learning and we can help people that have like, have not purchased yet or have purchased one, but are thinking about a second purchase. The stuff that you are going through. Cause there are other people that are on this job trajectory that there's not really a path cut out or at least I have not seen anything. I've seen a few people say, Hey, we can get your pilot license. But then there's like, there's no, I forget my pilot license. What do I do? Do. what right. jobs are there there are the mapping stuff where you could like kind of look it up there's real estate where you can fly inside there but it's not like that's one aspect of it but if i want to a real estate business to have drones what drones do i need it's not really the tiny whoop and those skills that you're learning in the tiny whoop are not even trans i don't want to say that i don't think they're translatable to the dgi cinematic stuff that like i feel like that's where most of the jobs lay but i do think there are opportunities for that first person drone because i've seen it in some movies and now that i pick up on it and then like kind of research and it goes oh that's a very unique skill but there's a very small percentage of people that are doing that how can we make this a little bit more mainstream or at least find an avenue where a lot more people would like or use this yeah no that's definitely true that's a question that i posed a couple weeks ago maybe it was last week that i'm still trying to look into like what is the real benefit of being able to fly this thing manually versus a dji drone that you can just throw up and kind of point in the right direction so that's stuff that i'm still thinking through like yeah you can get like quote unquote cooler shots but are those necessary for anything besides like cool youtube videos and those types of things but there, to your other point, um, the way that I learned graphic design was just watching what other people were doing and like being able to see a graphic, a poster from a band or whatever, and just be like, oh yeah, like I could recreate that. And I think that's close to where I'm being able to get with the drone now, or I'm watching people fly, usually 
like I'm saying, they're flying much more powerful drones and they can do a lot more with them. So I think that's where my like thought of like, oh, I need a more powerful drone so I can start mimicking what they're doing so I can start to learn this stuff better. But I think trying to break those things down into like the technical aspects of like, okay, what are they actually accomplishing? Is that something I can pull off with this tiny whoop? And that is the way that I found I can learn best. Um, I could probably, it'd be interesting actually to go back and like take a proper graphic design class and be like, oh yeah, I should have just done this from the beginning. It's so much easier. <laughs> or if the way that I have been self-taught, which is like looking at stuff and trying to recreate it for myself, if there is, uh, if that, I don't know, draws those lines in my, in my head, my brain a little bit stronger. And if that is really the best way for me to learn. And I think it's, it makes things that you think are cool more achievable. So now if I'm watching a movie or a commercial or whatever and I see like a cool drone shot, not only can I identify that it's a drone shot, but I'd be like, oh, that'd be a really interesting way to like enter a scene or that's a really cool thing that uh, to fly through that gap and then open up to, you know, a wide field or whatever they're doing. Um, and so for me, that's what gets me excited. Like I could see something in a major production and be like, oh yeah, I can do that with my tiny whoop. That's a hundred dollars. <laughs> like those types of, um, I don't know if they're aha moments, but like sparks of inspiration that make me want to go deeper into this world. Thank you guys for checking out the show. If you'd like, you can leave a comment down below. Let me know how you liked the show or where you're at in your drone journey. And you can leave a like on this video as well. If you're interested in my gear or reaching out to me, you can do so in the description down below. Until next week, see you guys around.